Hello children. Hope finds you all in the best of your health and safety. Today we will continue with English grammar chapter number 1 noun and its kinds. In the previous class we have learned that there are five types of noun common noun proper noun collective noun abstract noun and material noun and among these five we have learned about proper noun which is a special name or we can say proper noun is the name particular name of a particular person place animal or thing common noun is a name which can be used for any person place animal or a thing of the same kind right so now let's move to the topic of the day that is collective noun as the word itself is telling us that it is collective something in collection is there so collective noun stands for a collection of persons or things considered as one complete whole for example mob herd shoal flock army class family clump suit bevy let's read this sentence also i saw a pride of lions during our safari pride of lions as we know that this is a group of lions many lions would be there but the name given to their group is pride so pride is the collective noun let's move ahead few of the common collective nouns are a flock of sheep a herd of cattle a swarm of insects or a swarm of bees a bevy of girls a gang of bandits bandits are your robbers your thieves ahead let's move ahead a fleet of ships a range of mountains a class of students an anthology of poem a sheaf of corn i hope you all must have understood this now let's move ahead to the exercise given on the same page number 4 i want you all to write the answers simultaneously with your hb dark pencil a part the question is choose the suitable collective nouns the nouns given in this yellow box is bunch range galaxy mob gang so a part himalayas are the range of fold mountains b the gang of robbers entered the house at night the fox looked at the bunch of grapes greedily the mob of rioters set fire in the house and last e part at night we saw a galaxy of stars i hope you all must have understood what are collective nouns few more are also there which we use commonly like a bouquet of flowers a brood of hens a caravan of camels a colony of ants or bats a fleet of airplanes or ships a herd of cattle a class of students a litter of puppies and last a pride of lions or peacocks i hope you all must have understood collective nouns now let's move ahead uh, to the fourth type of noun that is material noun as the word itself is telling that it's material noun so here we will have the name of the material with which something is made up of let's read this sentence sia loves wearing gold earrings earrings are there but they are made up of gold so the material used to make earrings is gold so gold is the material noun now let's read about its meaning material noun stands for the name of a substance of which a thing is made of for example gold iron milk water copper etc more examples are there this rod is made up of iron so so the material used to make the rod is iron so iron is the material noun i have a study table made of wood wood is the material used to make study table see part we get cheese from milk from what 
are we making cheese that's milk so milk is the material now let's do circle the material the thing is made up of now table is made up of wood cheese is made up of milk book is made up of paper ball is made up of leather bed is made up of wood sweater of course is made up of wool so all the substances which are used to make these things are called material nouns i hope you all must have understood this now let's move to the last type of noun is the abstract noun meena has great love for animals now children just tell me can you see this love no but you can feel it so the naming word or you can say a word which is given to name your feelings which is not in the physical form is called the abstract noun let's move ahead here we have the meaning of abstract noun i'll just zoom it for you abstract noun refers to the name of something that does not have a physical form it could be a feeling emotion action or idea etc so something which you cannot see but you can feel that is called an abstract noun now let's do form abstract nouns from the given verbs confuse confusion judge judgment disappoint disappointment free freedom excite excitement i'll repeat confuse confusion judge judgment disappoint disappointment free freedom excite excitement i hope you all must have written these now let's move ahead here the question says underline the abstract nouns in each sentence a part truth makes a man courageous so what you can see here we cannot see truth so truth is the abstract noun we should love our country love underline this her beauty is beyond description beauty underline his sickness troubled his mother now here the boy is sick but his sickness is the abstract noun which we cannot see so underline sickness e part there is great kindness in his heart so what we can't see is kindness so that is abstract noun i have some more examples for you of abstract noun here are some common abstract nouns happy happiness brave bravery kind kindness wise wisdom grow growth laugh laughter cruel cruelty young youth child childhood now all these cannot be seen but they can be felt so that's why they all are the abstract nouns i hope you all must have understood all the five types of nouns so your homework is the home assignment for the day is revise nouns and its kinds and do page number 7 and 8 in your grammar book with dark hp pencil thank you